Yo, what it is? Your boy Shout Lodge, stayed out of Hamburg City, you know what I mean? And I'm uh, sitting here with my main girl, Nika, you know, we done did what we supposed to do, represent music. And yeah, we here. Short Lord, uh, the way I call him Maurice, is my mentor, my brother, one of the first people who encouraged me um, to write my own lyrics, to maintain my focus, to take the conscious part, and not to be discouraged, you know, even if people do, might not embrace what I'm doing, I, he encouraged me to continue regardless. We go way back, way back, mm. when, I, when mm. I didn't even speak German then, when I was not even in school yet, you know, I remember back then we were on, chose a few records, that's where it all began. And I was the only woman in the crew of I don't know how many men, five men or so. That's right. Anyway, and Maurice Short Lord was, was the leader of this group. Yeah, you know, just, you know, he always just encouraged me to keep it straight. Keep it, keep it straight. Don't forget where you're coming from. Don't forget your identity. Don't forget where you at in the present and where you want to be, you know. And uh, that's why, you know, I, I, hey, I take him with me. I take my people with me. Yes. We take each other with each other. That's how we do it. Soldiers of love. It was lovely. I mean, that's just, you know, it's a good feeling to be on stage, you know, to really rock the mic and, and, and get busy and, you know, actually get busy with people that I know. Like she said, you know, we go way back and we done did a whole lot of stuff together back then. You know, and she just, like I said, she kicked off and, you know, she coming back and, and giving me the opportunity to get my name out there is definitely beautiful. And like I said, I think that's what music and hip hop, I can speak for hip hop, always been represented, you know, like you make something and you give back to the people. And obviously that's what she do now, trying to, you know, support my thing a little bit too, you know. So I'm definitely happy to be here, you know, to kick it with you, you know. And not just the music, like the relationship I got going on with her is, is, is more than music, you know. It's like we had a, you know, kind of like a deep spiritual connection going on ever since we met when I first, when the first time I met her, that was like this bond that we had. And like I said, music came along with it. And that's a big factor why we actually, why we met. We met through music, but during that relationship, we found out it was like a deeper connection that, yeah. you know. Yeah. Amazing. That's Rum pack. I mean, the thing was rum pack. You know what I mean? Like nobody even, couldn't even fit up in here no more. So it was, it's definitely that's amazing to see even for myself. Like knowing no beating time. Remember, like we used to be caught in a small ass space, maybe DJ Farhat. You know, it's raw underground, and now seeing seeing it happening. You know, like saying she's in Hamburg and the thing was sold out. Like I'm, I'm kind of perplexed about that. You know, it shows you the power of willpower too, and you know. Yeah, man. Is your encouragement now? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a small part of it, but mainly it's, it's still on the individual to take the juice that somebody give them and, and you know take take it further. Cause that's what music is about. It's, it's each one teach one, you know. And somehow you got to give back. You're supposed to. A lot of people don't forget it, but I think even when you look at the music, the way the industry declined, it's, it's going back to that. You know, like where the support is necessary in order to maintain the music itself, you know, so. Well, I tend not to think too much about it, you know. I, can, I mean, I, I appreciate it and, and I give thanks to God, who I believe in. Um, I think without God, I won't be able to be where I'm at today. Um, but I, I, I personally try not to think too much about it so it doesn't get doesn't get to my head, you know. I had a moment on stage too where I was kind of like feeling myself and God just stopped me and, you know, unplugged the, unplugged the microphone, you know. Um, he just, you know, reminds you when you start feeling yourself too much, slows you down and says, hey, listen, I'm the one, I'm the boss here. So I tend not to, you know, allow it get too much to my head, but I appreciate, obviously, I appreciate the people that come out who support me, who support us, uh, support the movement, um, the movement of love, the conscious 
movement of uh, of change and um, yeah I think that that yeah without the audience and without the people buying you know buying and encouraging us we won't be on the media as well you know uh, we won't be able to do what we do uh, the way we want to uh, we won't be that effective so thanks to the people who also you know believe in what we do Thank you.